three, two, one, go! Woohoo! It's been a while since I've flown the drone, so I figured taking my daughter to the park, fly a drone, make a video, it's gonna be a good day. Oh, and this video is sponsored by Storyblocks, by the way. We'll talk about them in a sec. Hey, here we go. Huh? Where? Did it bite you? Or did it just walk on you? You wanna go play now? All right, go ahead and go play. Have fun. <laughs> She, uh, she doesn't like ants. She got bit by an ant once, terrified ever since, so <laughs> crisis averted. Okay, you ready? Give me hold on. There you go. What are you doing with this? <laughs> All right, see ya. Bye. Bye. All right, let's go set this down. I really don't like bringing my big camera. Well, may as well clean the lens. There we go. So like I said before, I'm just not a big fan of bringing my big camera for casual things like going to the park. It's just so big and bulky. And even though I can take really good high quality videos and photos with this camera, sometimes a phone is good enough. And I got the iPhone 12 Pro and so I can shoot wide angle shots in 4K, I can shoot 4K 60, I can take some really good photos. But is a phone actually good enough to vlog with? Well, incoming. <laughs> Okay, cool. That was that was good. That was good. You got some. You got some pretty good speed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You mean to help you? Uh, uh, I, oh, you got it. I need it. All right. See you later, sucker. See you later, you sucker. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That sequence you just saw was filmed with the A7S III, and obviously with a camera like that, you're able to film some pretty cinematic B-roll. When you film with an iPhone, it's not gonna be as cinematic, but in the right conditions, and if you color correct and color grade just right, you can still get some really awesome shots with an iPhone. Now, if you want, you can totally deck out your iPhone with a bunch of accessories to help you film better video. In fact, the accessories that you see on my phone is a Polar Pro Light Chaser Kit. Uh, I got the case over here that's always attached to my phone, and right next to it is this grip, which actually has a Bluetooth remote to stop and start recording. And then off to the other side is a variable ND filter to help control your exposure. So if you wanna check it out, link will be down below. Now I'm not saying that you should always use a phone to make vlogs, although you can. What I'm trying to say is that when you don't have to bring a big camera, like the one that I'm holding right now, a phone is absolutely suitable. In fact, I feel like there are certain situations where vlogging on a phone is a lot better than vlogging with a camera, like in small spaces, or maybe you're going to an event like a concert where you're not allowed to bring a big camera. In those situations, vlogging with a phone is way, way better. And of course, if you are filming on a phone, the audio isn't gonna be the best, but it's totally acceptable. I mean, with my big old camera setup. I'm using the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus and so audio is going to be better with this whole setup. But I think as long as the audio is clear and there's not a big gust of wind uh, making that nasty wind sound, then I think for the most part the audio filmed on a phone is totally acceptable. But the cool thing about filming with an iPhone is that you carry your phone all the time. So essentially you're bringing a camera everywhere you go where now I'm kind of holding my big old camera and it's sometimes kind of awkward, not gonna lie. But if you're out with a family or friends and you still wanna capture high quality video and take photos, I think a phone is plenty fine. And whether you decide to use an actual camera to make vlogs or an iPhone to, to make vlogs with, I think we can all agree that B-roll is essential for any vlog. And one of the best ways to get B-roll is by downloading high quality 4K and HD videos from Storyblocks. <laughs> If you don't already know, Storyblocks is a great site to easily search and download high quality 4K and HD videos. They've got pretty much every type of stock footage you can find from the one plus million stock footage library. That's great for us creators because we have access to a whole bunch of stock footage to help us tell our stories. And it's not just stock footage too. They have a massive library of royalty free images, animated backgrounds, and even After Effects templates. Recently, Storyblocks started Restock, which is an initiative to add more inclusive and diverse stock footage filmed by amazing creators in the LGBTQIA plus community and the black, brown, and people of color communities. So if you are looking for more diverse and inclusive stock footage, then definitely check out Storyblocks. And you can do so by clicking on my link in the description below. Thanks Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. Okay, all right, we're just gonna take a break. It's, it's really hot outside, so I'm just gonna stay in the car. 
cool off, turn on the AC, and then maybe film a little bit, but oh man, it's hot. Oh, there we go. That's the good stuff right there. Mm, not gonna be good for audio, so let's just, okay, right about there. So whenever I film on my phone, I like using the Filmic Pro app. There are certain settings that I like using, like different frame rates. I can change the angles. I can lock focus. I can lock exposure. I'm not sure if it's free anymore. You may have to pay to get the app, but I think it's the best app to use whenever you are filming on a phone. Now, you don't have to use that app at all. You can just use the native camera app on your phone if you want to. In fact, there have been times where I use the native app on my phone to film a certain clip or two. But when I can, I try to use the Filmic Pro app. Now for me, I totally mix in iPhone footage with my Sony footage, and I'm totally okay if the quality isn't the same as long as the story is being told. And I think that's what people tend to forget. Like they forget about making the story. A lot of us get so consumed with a 4K camera or using the best mic or using a vlog tripod. And while all that stuff is great, the main priority should be telling the story, regardless of what camera you use. Okay, you ready to go back to the park? Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with us at the park. I think we're all ready to go home now. You ready to go home? Yeah, okay. All right. Thumbs up, subscribe, all those good things down below, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.